I have the Esheen E120 micro helicopter out here today and I have it programmed into my Radio Master TX16S. I installed the latest stable release of OpenTX and Multimodule so I could bind up to this little helicopter. I've got all the functionality programmed into the the TX16S that the stock transmitter has. And so I'm going to test all those functions out here today. And once I get it programmed or tuned on the TX16S, I will publish the OpenTX uh, model file on our Facebook page. So let's bring it out here. I'm already bound up to it. And we will do a one key takeoff to begin with. I have the uh, speed modes programmed in to my flight modes my flight mode switch so um, we'll see how docile it is in mode one and then we'll switch into mode two and test and then mode three all right so in order to use the one key takeoff um, you want to get your throttle stick set in the center position okay and then I'm going to flip the switch flip the switch up here for one key takeoff so we'll see how that works there we are And this is in speed mode one. So let's see what the yaw is like. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so there's full forward stick in speed mode one. So I would say, I would say in speed mode one, it's a little, that's a little too docile. It's not even moving forward. Okay, so let's put it in speed mode two. All right, so I'm going to have to increase my speed mode one a little bit. All right, let's see what the yaw is like on uh, speed mode two. Let's bring it back over here a little bit faster. Okay, so let's cruise it around in speed mode two and see what it feels like. Well, I tell you what, the yaw feels really, really good. Very, very smooth. Let's lose some altitude here. very smooth guys that is very smooth all right so i got full forward stick there it's still pretty docile in uh in speed mode two so i think what i might do is i'm definitely going to increase speed mode one i'd like to get it docile enough in speed mode one that you could fly it indoors in a um, small, a larger area indoors. But speed mode two, that feels pretty good. I'll bump it up just a little bit so that I've got some, um, check that out, that is, that is awesome. I like the yaw rate. I may um, keep that yaw rate for speed mode three as well because that is really, really smooth. We'll see what it's like in speed mode three. Okay, so let's bring it back over here. Let's put it into speed mode three. Okay, so now I've got 100% um, dual rate on the, the bank and the pitch axis. And I believe I've got it set up for 85% on the yaw. So let's see what the yaw is like. Yeah, that's a pretty quick yaw. All right, so that's full forward stick in speed mode three. Descend a little bit. The all still feels pretty smooth, you know, because you've got so much more resolution on the stick on the TX16S than you do on the uh, stock transmitter. Trying to see what kind of trim I need in it. That's better. Needed a little 
forward pitch trim on it. We send a little bit again. Got a little bit of a breeze out here right now. That's pretty nice. Yeah, much, much, much easier to fly on one of these hobby grade transmitters. And it's an easy to fly helicopter to begin with, but man, this makes a this makes a huge difference. Full throttle, full forward pitch. Okay, so let's bring it back and descend a little bit. That moves out pretty good when you get it going. There, I did find an issue with the throttle point. So um, after the flight, I will give you guys some information on what I had to do to the throttle points on this uh, setup on the TX-16S. I'm just descending a little bit. It's going into the wind right there. But so smooth. Yeah, I think I might. I think I'll keep that y'all right in speed mode three. That is really smooth, y'all. <laughs> That's pretty cool, isn't it? Hard bank, a little rudder. Hard bank, a little rudder. Descend a little bit more. Yeah, that is pretty darn smooth. The only thing that's a little harder to manage is the throttle because of course you don't have, uh, you don't have the stick centered all the time. So it makes it a little bit harder to manage the throttle, but the other controls are really, really nice and smooth. It just takes a little more throttle management, which, you know, this is the first time I've flown it with the TX-16S. So it'll take a little practice to get used to uh, my throttle changes and keeping the stick, you know, close to center all the time so that you're not ascending constantly like I am <laughs> that is that is fun guys yeah you're gonna like it you're gonna like it on the TX-16S that's for sure or 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 a multi-module um, transmitter hobby grade transmitter it just there's just it's like the micro airplanes you know there's just really no comparison between the amount of control you have with the hobby grade transmitter compared to uh, the stock transmitter. The stock transmitter is good, but it's, it's, it's no competition to a hobby grade transmitter flying this around. It just can't, it can't compete with that. That, isn't that smooth? Look at that. And of course, you can put in Expo. So I've got, I've got Expo um, dialed into my pitch, my my roll, or my bank, and my yaw, and um, that makes a huge difference too. To really, you know, smooth the controls out. Okay, so let's bring it over here. I'm almost at the end of my um, timer. I want to bring it over here. I want to hit the uh, one key land. Let's get it hovering here. 
get it hovering here and I want to hit the one key land okay I just hit the one key land here we go okay so that worked out well all right so I'm gonna use the one key takeoff again and I, I am all my modes are working properly but I also want to make sure my emergency stop is working yeah so there's my timer so let's go ahead and get it in the air one more time okay now I'm gonna bring it down a little bit Oop. bring it <laughs> I'm gonna bring it down a little bit and then I'm gonna hit I'm gonna have it right there and then emergency stop ready there's the emergency stop so all the functions are working as they should on this little helicopter so um, it's like I said, I, I had to change the throttle points on this to get it to function properly. And um, I'll meet you back at the hangar and I'll tell you why. I'll show you how I've got everything, you know, where I've got everything set up on the TX-16S transmitter. But um, everything seems to be working absolutely fine, except I need to, I think I'm going to increase my dual rates on mode 2 a little bit. And I definitely need to increase my dual rates on mode one a little bit. And so as soon as I get that fine-tuned and I have it working the way I want it, I want a very docile mode um, in speed mode one so it would make it possible to fly it indoors safely. And so, uh, but I've got it too docile right now in speed mode one. So I definitely need to increase my pitch. And speed mode one but as soon as I get those three speed modes worked out and have them exactly where I want them I will go ahead and publish my open TX model file on our Facebook page I'll see you back at the hangar okay that was that was extremely smooth with the TX 16s and this is the first that was the first flight that I've performed so far with the TX 16s now after I filmed that I did put I did make some adjustments to my flight modes and um, and tested it a couple more times. I've got three battery packs for it. So I ended up putting all three battery packs to it just to test it out a little bit more. And um, for outdoors, you know, where I where I increase the the slowest speed on it, the most docile mode, um, it would it would push forward okay, but I had about a three or four mile an hour wind out there. So um, when I publish this, since I'm not going to have a place where I can fly inside, you may. So if you decide to download this OpenTX model file, I would say test test it with the lower dual rate on the on the pitch and the bank axis to begin with. I originally had it set for 50% and I just couldn't, it was just hovering there. I couldn't push against that little bit of a wind that I had, but inside that may be fine. So I originally had it set up for 50% um, dual rate on the pitch, 50% dual rate on the bank, and 50% and dual rate on the yaw. And that, I think that will be fine. I think that will work fine indoors. I think it will be very docile uh, at that with those rates indoors but when I publish this speed mode one is going to be a little bit higher than that so I can push against the light wind out there anyway normally um, my momentary switch switch SH here on the uh, back right hand side uh, it's a momentary switch I normally set that for resetting my flight timer um, but I also set that up as my emergency stop. I figure if I'm going to use my emergency stop for some reason, I'm not worried about my timer, you know. So I've got it set up on that switch. Um, switch SF, this two position switch. I normally use this switch as a throttle um, safety switch. So in the default position where it's, it's pushed back, it disarms any motors on my, on my planes. So, you know, I can move the throttle all the way up. It's not going to do anything until that switch is pulled forward and then that allows me to arm the motor. So I went ahead and I used this two position switch for my one key takeoff and my one key land. So 
Um, you want to remember to put your throttle at 50% if you're going to use one key takeoff. And then when I pull the switch forward, it'll it'll uh, spin up the rotors and it will it will come up at 50% throttle. It'll come up off the deck. It'll it'll auto launch. And then when I want to land, all I have to do is push the switch back, and that initiates the one key landing. So it works just like the one key take off and land, but two position switch. Okay, so then what I did was I set up three different sets of dual rates for mode one, mode two, and mode three for pitch, bank, and yaw. Okay, and then I tied those different modes into switch SG, the three position switch just in front of the momentary switch. And so in the default position, it's going to be in mode one, you know, when it's pushed all the way forward. Mode one, the center position is mode two, uh, the forward position toward me is mode three. So mode one being the most docile, mode two being the intermediate, and mode three being, you know, full out on dual rates. And um, the, the expo felt fine. In all three modes, the expo felt fine on the pitch, on the bank, and on the yaw. And the highest amount of dual rate that I have on the yaw is 80% in mode three. So all that worked really, really fine. The problem that I ran into was on the throttle points. And I noticed, you know, normally your, your, all, of your, all of your axis, all of your sticks, regardless of what axis you're, you're managing, your throttle goes plus 100, minus 100 all the way down, plus 100 all the way up, minus 100 all the way down. Well, what I discovered was that when I got, when I got down about three, three quarters of the way down on the throttle stick, you know, between full down and, and the center position, 75% of the way down, you know, where it's hitting minus 50, it wanted to it wanted to uh, shut down the the main rotor like I was already on the ground with the stick all the way down, and I couldn't figure out why it was doing that. You know, I tried I tried um, um, setting my throttle range. You know, whenever I uh, bound up to the to the helicopter, nothing nothing seemed to work. So what I ended up having to do was go in and decrease the bottom end of the throttle. From uh, minus 100 to minus, I think I've got it at minus 52, because I didn't want, I don't want it to shut down until I've got my stick all the way to the bottom. So it it, it, it it makes it slower descending if you're manually descending instead of using the one key land. So it kind of bounces around a little bit when you're when you're landing it, but I didn't want to take a chance on on pulling the stick all the way down during flight and having it shut down on. So I'm going to have to investigate that some more and find out if I can mitigate that some way. But um, I haven't seen that with any other helicopter. Of course, this is a new protocol. And the protocol that it uses is uh, the, the main protocol is E129 and the sub-protocol is, is C186. So those, have, those just came out, I think, one, one release before the late, latest stable release on OpenTX and Multimodule. I've got the latest stable release of OpenTX and Multimodule on here. So, so I'm not sure about that. I'm going to have to play around with that some more and, and see if I can mitigate that. I think what I'll do is, I don't know if it has any type of optimeter in it, you know what I mean? So maybe it, maybe it, was, maybe it was shutting down even though I didn't have the stick pulled all the way down because it, it detected that it was on the ground. I don't know. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my throttle points back to default, take it out and fly it around, try to keep it low to the ground, pull this, you know, pull this stick down to descend, you know, up, go up, go down, go up, go down, and make sure that it doesn't shut the engine down on me, the motor down on me. So I, I'm not sure about that yet. You know, I was just hovering it here in the house. And I noticed that, so before I took it out to fly today, I adjusted those throttle points. You may not need to, you know, it may have some kind of altimeter in it. Maybe it detects when, when it thinks it's on the ground and the throttle stick is in a low position, even though it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't bottomed out, you know. It really shouldn't have, in my opinion, it really shouldn't have shut the motor down until I pulled the stick all the way down for two or three seconds. That's the way the other ones have worked. 
So I don't know if there's an issue with this uh, with this protocol or not. Uh, but I'll investigate it when I when I'm happy with it. And, you know, I will I will go ahead and publish the OpenTX model file on our Facebook page. But I'm going to play around with that a little bit first to see if I can mitigate it. If I can't, I will let you know that in the post when I post it for download. But awesome flying this little helicopter with this TX-16S. You guys are gonna, you guys are gonna love this helicopter even more now that you can bind it up to a multi-module uh, hobby grade transmitter. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you in the air.